<laughs> Hello, this is a picture of a neutron star and it's just always so lovely seeing the way that neutron stars affect the environment around them. They change all the colours on everything. In this picture there's an ASP Explorer and the ASP is shining with this blue light and the centre of the star is so tiny yet it gives out such a bright light. I like the hazy clouds. I'm assuming I'm in a nebula here because it's a little bit too bright to just be the background fuzz of the galaxy there. I like it though. I like making these shapes and colours, smudging them all together to make them blend in. It's, it's really relaxing and rewarding and pleasant. I like it. I like doing it. So I've been doing this really massive, well this A1 oil painting on canvas of this intensely detailed ship dockyard with all of the bits and bobs and lights and greenified surfaces. <laughs> and it's really difficult and I keep getting back in the handle covered in paint and smudging it over the painting and I'm going to do it again. I've been at that hours. And this, this just is so simple and straightforward and rewarding and it's like a, a breath of fresh air. <laughs> no, I am enjoying the canvas. I'm really enjoying it. It's just a completely different experience to doing this. This reminds me as well of when everyone first explored. It was my first proper exploration ship. A lot of people had a diamond back. I had the Asp Explorer. Couldn't really afford it, to be honest, at first. I only just had about like one rebuy on it. But it was such such a wonderful thing to have this this ship. And when I first got it, I was like, it's got six hard points. This is this is iron. Now I just think of it as a massive dinner plate target. I wouldn't take one into a conflict zone or anything like that. But at the time I loved that. I I still I still love my asp. I still have it, obviously. It doesn't. I, I don't know many people that don't have an asp explorer. Way back when, before the days of the crate, it was the go-to. I mean, you had to be pretty rich to afford an anaconda then. It, I, honestly, it took me actual years <laughs> to buy my anaconda. And I don't use it now, really. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for watching. And thank you to the person who sent me the picture, because that was really enjoyable. I really liked that. <laughs>